Innovation and collaboration will be essential in the rollout of the Scottish Government's Health and Social Care Delivery Plan. This responds to the challenge of growing demand for health and social care services with a programme of improvements. These include optimising health and social care integration and implementing the National Clinical Strategy, which will change the way medicine is approached over the next 10 to 20 years. The plan also sets out a strategy for improving public health and reforming NHS boards to enhance the delivery of services. NHS Scotland boards are progressing with the implementation of this plan, working with social care partners to deliver optimal care. John Burns, the Chief Executive of NHS Ayrshire and Arran, outlined some of the challenges and opportunities. There are many challenges in implementing the Health and Social Care Delivery Plan, but I think that we were already seeing um, integration of services, uh, particularly in our community services. Uh, examples in Ayrshire would, would cover everything from mental health, uh, addiction services, through to children and adolescent mental health services, but equally we're seeing strong collaboration in terms of urgent and unscheduled care, where community teams, health and social care teams are working with hospital teams to support patients to return home as quickly as possible, having had the right care. So these collaborations of, of teams coming together and, and using new facilities uh, to support that work, I think are important parts of what we will build on going forward into the future. NHS Forth Valley serves a population of around 300,000 and has around 7,000 staff. Its Public Health and Strategic Planning Director is Dr Graham Foster. How does the Health and Social Care Delivery Plan affect his role? And what support are our estates and facilities services providing? There are lots of ways in which estates and facilities can help us with the implementation of the Health and Social Care Delivery Plan. In particular, um, we need our facilities to be attractive to the population to use. The Health and Social Care Delivery Plan is about moving services much closer to home and if we want the population to use services closer to home they have to be attractive, they have to be open and inviting, they have to be modern, they have to be dementia friendly, they have to be well signed. So there are lots of issues around the, prov the provision of community services which are really, really important for us. The Stirling Care Village is a really important example of health and social care integration at work. This is a joint initiative between Stirling Council and the NHS. We've also got involvement from Forth Valley College and the Scottish Ambulance Service and a range of partners all putting together services onto one site. So that's about being efficient, it's about being effective and it's about delivering a good service for the community. Professor Angela Wallace chairs the NHS Scotland Executive Nurse Director Group. She believes the Health and Social Care Delivery Plan will bring real benefits for patients and says collaboration with estates and facilities services will be essential in continuing to deliver clean, safe and infection-free healthcare facilities. The ability to provide safe, clean clinical environments without estates and facilities would simply not be possible. And certainly when we are raising to the standards that we have in terms of Healthcare Improvement Scotland or any other part of NHS Scotland, they are key members of leadership teams and they are key members of staff with our patients and families that make sure the standards are kept and maintained. The opportunities within health and social care integration for me are vast. The prize for me um, is that making those services connected, making those services wrap around patients and families in their communities or in a homely setting that really allows them to be as well as they possibly can be, for us to deliver care of what matters to them um, and for, for families to feel safe in the knowledge that health and social care are a united unit providing seamless care across a range of settings but still being individualised and respectful for your mum, your dad, um, or indeed any of our family. At NHS Lothian, Ian Graham is Director of Capital Planning and Projects. This involves delivering strategic new build projects in collaboration with partners, including councils and health and social care partnerships. One of the projects he's been working on is East Lothian Community Hospital in Haddington, which will bring together health and social care services on one site. East Lothian Community Hospital demonstrates health and social care integration in a number of key ways. 
Uh, from the construction side, they are working with local community-based uh, nurses and health and social care partnership colleagues, delivering a Healthy Working Lives initiative. But when we come to the building in operation, there are a number of key services which uh, are being delivered from the, the health partnership and the social care partnership and third sector, all providing an integrated service provision for the local community. Estates and facilities and capital planning are helping support the health and social care delivery plan in a, in a number of key ways. We are integrating our services with local authorities and engaging with local authority partners in a very different way. Previously we would have been at arm's length in a number of transactions but now it's very much part of a collaborative uh, working environment. On the Isle of Isla, in the Inner Hebrides, NHS Highland and Argyllan Butte Council have collaborated on a joint cleaning pilot at Gorton Vogie Residential Home, which is connected via a link corridor to Isla Hospital. The pilot has involved NHS domestic staff cleaning the council-run home to hospital standards, ensuring a common regulated standard is applied to both health and social care. This has ensured continuity and quality of cleaning services for the care home, while creating a larger pool of staff for both partners to draw on. A follow-on project has been commissioned by the local authority to look at how cleaning and catering can be integrated across the whole of Argyll and Butte Council and NHS Highland to provide an improved service to both areas. Implementing the Scottish Government's Health and Social Care Delivery Plan offers many challenges, but it also promises to deliver huge benefits to service users, to staff and to Scotland as a whole. By innovating through collaboration, Health Facilities Scotland will continue to support the Estates and Facilities teams of NHS Scotland Boards and the Scottish Government to deliver far-reaching improvements to health and social care services across Scotland.